Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon. Let's go to the Warrens with a makeshift party of, of fools. But let's make sure we actually get the party set up with trinkets too, because I keep forgetting about the trinkets. For instance, plus speed, why not? And plus dodge at the expense of stun and move. We do have a stunning attack on the matted arms that we might use. Can the matted arms even function from the back? No. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized the party I created is all melee frontliners. So, probably not the best now that I think about it. In fact, we're gonna have to replace someone. Um, the matted arms can go. And we can replace them with probably, not Warren's Phobe. We can use the other grave, rob grave robber for this, I think. I think we have to. We could use Dismas. I don't really like the fact that he has a hard time hitting the front line and also, well, I guess he has a hard time hitting the front line because we don't have a uh, duelist advance set up. Can you hit the front line? Nope. <laughs> Not at all. Um, maybe we'll just use, you know, someone who can throw a dagger and throw poison darts and, you know, that's like good enough. Let's just do that. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. We're gonna bring along food. I'll bring along a full stack so we have some healing. I'll bring along a torch. I will also bring along a key. A holy water. One medicinal herbs is probably okay. Uh, no, we're pretty good there. You know, what, honey, honey, PDW in chat is is correct. I don't know why I didn't think about that. What we what we could do is, in theory, we could unlock skills like bellow could be okay. Retribution can't even be used at the back. He, he does have a guard. Oh, he can use the guard from the back line. But you know, I, I we'll worry about him later. We'll we'll just embark with, with this party. We'll just get everyone leveled up here. So we want a full stack of Oh, it's farmstead. I, I hate that it defaults to that every time. I don't want to go there. I want to go to where I was previously selected, please. We want to go to the Warrens with food, torches, one of these, one of these, and one of these, and uh, one torch. And we're good. Yeah, I don't want it to, uh, to default me on that level. <laughs> But at least the fact that you don't have food is kind of nice because it means that if I don't see food there, I'm like, whoa, what's going on? This is the wrong level. They breed quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. Perhaps we can bring along a bandage. I A forgot and B don't think we're really gonna need it too much. Although it would be nice if we do find the, the rack of blades, I guess, which is a curio down here. But uh, you know, whatever. I gotta rem- I got, it's my first time playing the game in like two years. It'll take me a little while to remember all of the curios. I apologize. Crate is empty. Trap, but at least we dodged it. It's nice to- it's nice to go into these short- I guess that's the whole point of having to do short level missions in order to unlock the zone properly. It's the fact that you have to uh, spend some time exploring it and relearning about it, or learning about it if this is your first time, you know, going through the game and whatnot. So that, 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 it's always made sense to me that that's why they do this. Stressful incantation. I suppose it's also a good excuse to send along level zeros and get them leveled up. You know, get them up to level one pretty quickly. Hemophilia. Probably bad bleeding. Mine is 50%. Oh my god. God, that's unfortunate. Flashbang, come hither, collect bounty. Uh, let's just get the ones in the back. They bleed very easily, so that's why I brought the flagellant along. 
He can bleed the back line and kill him pretty quickly. You! The leper. You have a lot of stress. We could stress heal you, but your stress heal is not that good. Instead, I'm just gonna do some attacks. And you're gonna miss, because you suck. <laughs> you suck for a while. You'll get better later, though. You are bleeding, unfortunately. Everything runs red. You're fine. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. It's good bleed across multiple units, too. Resist, resist, very good. We gotta kill that Cultist Acolyte, though, before they uh, hit us too much with with stress. What's your speed four? What's your speed seven? I think I'm just gonna go for the Blight. Hope that it lands, but, because I don't think I'm gonna kill the Acolyte no matter what I do. Stressful Incantation, once again. At least they're targeting the Leper, who does have that personal stress recovery ability. I just need to, you know, be able to use it. Three, two, you're not dead yet. Maybe that'll kill you? That will kill you, because now you're stunned. Beautiful. Uh, you don't have a heal active yet. You need to be below 40% health for that. So we're gonna have to do like one more standard attack here. Next turn you can throw out a heal. Oh my god, the leper is so inaccurate. I forgot just how bad they are at hitting enemies. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, sure, we'll stack up some more Blight. I mean, it's, that's actually a good hit. Maybe I could have killed you with the dagger, but you know what? It doesn't matter because this guy being low on health is actually a benefit to me. The, flag the flagellant here is the only the only party member who gets better the uh, worse off he is. Unfortunately, I do have to kill one of these guys to do the heal, but it's still okay. Did it clear the bleed as well? I don't know. I, I don't think it did. I don't think it did. Felt like it did, though. It was strange. Uh, purge all corpses. Well, I gotta hit you to do that. Let's just hit the corpse. Bring you up where I can hit you, my friend. Good, 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 good. Buys us a little bit of time. Gently. What's your light resist? This is how a life is taken. Is it 60%? If it's 60%, I really don't want to have to blight you. But I don't want to lunge either, because if I lunge, then the 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 flagellant is gonna be out of position for his attack. So I guess we're just going to try to blight you. It did work, which is surprising, but I think that's probably our best option there, honestly. I mean, we are actually pretty good at punching through his, his armor with the DOTs. And he's dead, so now we can just focus on healing. Well, I say that, you know, we only have the, the one healer, but still. <laughs> just do some moves. Reclaim you. He did bleed himself, but that's okay because we can open up the, the next combat with the Exsanguinate ability, ideally. So it's not the end of the world. Right, I forgot about this ability. The, the fact that it... Oh yeah, we really should have brought a bandage, huh? The fact that it heals over time also means that the unit is slightly resilient to death's door bleeding. Now he's bleeding a lot, but that's kind of intentional. Should have given him holy water. That would have canceled out the bleed. But he'll still be okay because we can heal with him on the next encounter. We'll be fine. Let's just open this up. I could I could come back later, but you know what? This is fine. Uh, I believe... Oh, Jesus. 6 HP. I believe this is holy water? The pile is purified, allowing a thorough search. We got a shovel out of that. Fair enough. I got a shovel. I got the shovel. 
can staunch the flow. That's okay, because now you can open up with a sweet Exsanguinate, which is great damage and bleeding. It's actually a crit, <laughs> which means this guy is dead because he's bleeding for 25. That was very good. Damn, they, they love focusing down the leper right now. He can exsanguinate again, but he's currently under the effects of a debuff. We could cancel the debuff using medicinal herbs if we need to, so that might be something worth considering. We'll start with the Blight, though. I want to get some, some damage over time on the Acolyte in case we miss a couple of shots. 16 damage! That's why I like the Leper. <laughs> I forgot, they're actually good. Twenty-five percent damage versus stunned, and she's stunned, dude. We did it. We used an ability like it's supposed to be used, and they're dead as a result. That was very nice. Plus two, plus six. You know, I think we're just going to. I think I'm gonna attack and not heal. I mean, the crit is nice, but I want to heal with the leper to recover his stress, and hopefully he's not too slow. He was too slow, but still, at least we didn't bleed ourselves unnecessarily, I think. More stress, all right. Leper, no! <laughs> his stress is too high, it's 90. I don't like this, no bet, no wonder. Vomit. At least he didn't hit the leper. Okay, I would really like to kill the cultist acolyte before they stress out my leper too much. The blight did not land though, which is highly annoying. We'll try to move her forward. If we can move her forward, we can hit him, hit her with the leper, and ideally kill her. Although it's not always likely, and sometimes very unlikely, it seems. You're almost dead. It's, it is worth killing you with Exsanguinate. Actually, no, it's not, because you're already stunned. We might as well kill you next turn. We'll kill this guy on this turn, or hit him so he bleeds out. We can uh, use a hue here, ideally, to get the kill. You missed! The accuracy in these units is so bad. I was gonna look at trinkets too, but I, I looked at like two trinkets and then didn't look at the rest of them. I should have paid more attention. I keep saying I'm gonna look at trinkets and then I always forget. The stress is actually not that bad though. We, we've we recovered stress over on a couple of units. The only one who's really kind of hurting right now is the leper. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Maintain the offensive. So we could exsanguinate, or we could bleed the back line. There's nothing to target except corpses, and I don't know if the ability would work. So we're gonna do this, and then we're, I'm gonna try to clear the corpses with the leper next turn, if, if we can do it in time. If we can't do it in time, maybe I'll just shuffle. That shuffle ability is really nice. I'm, I'm loving that right now. It did bleed, not quite dead yet. It looks like the only thing the guy, this guy can do at the back, the Swine Chopper, is Ball and Chain. He's not close enough to hit us with his Butcher's Cleaver. You're gonna, you're gonna heal yourself. That's a good crit heal. <laughs> if you're gonna heal yourself, get rid of your debuff. Oh, you can't get rid of that debuff. I, I remember that now. I, uh... That was a complaint I had at the near the end of the last campaign of this game I did. It The game does not distinguish between buffs you can get rid of and buffs you cannot get rid of with medicinal herbs. So I thought I could get rid of the, the healing debuff, but that's not the case. I forgot about that. I need to make a list of all the things that medicinal, medicinal herbs cannot cure, because that's gonna get... That's gonna be important later. For certain. The 
you know, eventually we're going to find missions where that's going to uh, be like a core component of my plan. Like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to just remove the debuff and then it's not going to be removed. And I'll be like, oh, crap, what happened? It should have been removed, but it wasn't. So yeah, that's that's annoying. And I wish that that was not the case, but I guess it is. And there's nothing we can do about it. Except this guy's already dead, which is beautiful. So we're just gonna hit him and heal. Hit him and heal. A momentary abatement. A momentary abatement. We're actually doing just fine. Mount, so too will resistance. You know what? We go low light on this one. Kill the diseases on the table, we get a lot of food! Must be carried home. And there's also a curio over here. We will definitely use the 100% chance to disarm the trap. And everyone's stress is fine except for the leper right now, which is funny. The pack's already been looted. But I want to keep exploring. I, I, oh, this is where you needed the bandage for the rack of blades. I, uh, I want to keep exploring so maybe we can get into some more combat. Good dodge. Maybe get some more loot or something. So many people just ambiently screaming. I do love the screaming. Let's do the, the next combat and then we'll back. No, let's do let's do it now. A handsome reward. We might not want to backtrack, but I, I wanted to get into more combat. I mean, we've ar we already have to pay for stress relief. Let's get some more resources out of this. Although, I don't know if we're going to get anything out of spiders, unfortunately. There's one dead. If you stun the leper, it's not that bad. You didn't. You marked him. You didn't stun him. 11 damage. That's so much damage out of spiders. Falls, Good lord. Faint hope blossoms. <laughs> oh god. I don't know why you suck so much. But we'll focus on some stress relief now, I think. <clears throat> you know, I should have killed the other spider. That was my bad. What is what does COM stand for on the DLC asks Mud? Color of Madness. Blue is is the answer. That is apparently the color of madness. <laughs> sometimes you uh, you hit for eleven. Sometimes you hit for two. You never know what it's gonna be. But you're also dead. And then we can get a little bit more stress heal out of this. Honestly, if we get some stress heals, this... Oh, I should not have done that. This makes this not that bad of a... Of a setup here. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be... It is uh, very dark right now. And I do want to do a little bit of backtracking so that we can maybe do some more exploration too. It is getting quite dark. I will just open this up. Eight light, one light, zero light. The moment it hits zero, let's do this. Let's do this last remaining combat. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna do this, should we do blight or should we do raw damage? I would like to increase your accuracy because your accuracy sucks. Thank you. I will try to bleed the back line though. We gotta kill the, the second position cut through it, I feel. Knock back three, clear all corpses, accuracy five. You can't really do anything, so I'm just going to smack with you. Uh, you are going to hit, but you missed, so I'm not that sad about it. Like, I could've used the flashbang, but that probably would've also missed. Death waits. The crit sucks, but it's not that much stress, actually. This is going to be a lot of stress. Relatively speaking, because it also hurts us, but... Not bad. Ah. Ah, 
Yes. Okay, so you're dead. Your friend is also dead. Ah, uh, no, we gotta hit your friend one more time. Well, let's let's hit you then. I really wanted to hit you with the leper, but you're gonna die next turn. <laughs> then you'll be dead. 10 to 19, huh? That's a lot of damage. What, you're one hit away from death. So is my leper. The leper very well might die because of the AOE shot from the Fusilier, unfortunately, unless we go first. They're paranoid. Should not have come here with low light. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Okay, 93%, 95%. This will kill if it lands, so I have to use this ability. Good. I have to heal you so that you live. You resisted the bleed yourself, which is beautiful. Ah, but you don't you don't have a turn yet. That's unfortunate. So now we have a choice. We go for, we could retreat, or we could go for a crit kill or a flashbang. I will go for a flashbang. 60% stun. The leper had a turn. The leper had a freaking turn. Heal up, my boy. He lived. With a speed of three versus negative one. Don't punishment the leper. He doesn't need the more punishment. This is not worth it. Whenever I do these, these low light final sections, they're never worth it. <laughs> they're never worth it. Just finish him off. He's dead. I also forgot that that can crit heal, which is nice. It's never worth it. <laughs> we got some money from it, but we're gonna have to pay more for stress relief now, too. Okay, get rid of the shovel. Get rid of the screaming, too. Get, get me out of here. No, just, just leave. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. There, their squeals have now faded. Dude, I gotta, I gotta stop coming to, uh, to, lo to low torch, you know, mission areas because that is, uh, it's not working out well. Unerring, more damage on range skills. Not that good because his only range skill is a bleeder. Plus twenty percent damage if HP is above ninety nine percent. Very interesting. Plus 20 stress if Torch is high. Both of the Grey Robbers have kind of nasty stress gain, which is unfortunate. We're going to have to deal with that. Uh, but we're also going to have to deal with all the stress that these units just straight up have right now. Stress reduction is less effective. This is the game saying, do Crimson Court. My answer to that is no, I will not do Crimson Court. Compulsive has been removed on the Hellion. We do need to do some stress relief, unfortunately. Uh, who? Oh, wow. Oh, right, because he—that wasn't. It was no stress relief. Sort by stress. You need to. Well, you actually hold on. What do you have? I forgot that you had a disease. Where is it? Bleed resist. Yeah, let's let's get rid of that, please. I know that you are paranoid, but you know we'll work with that. Uh, let's do you and y okay, we'll do you and okay, what? How about you and you? We'll get those done. And fine, you will go to the brothel. You will gamble. Aren't you a good gambler? Skilled gambler, yeah, absolutely. Tempt fortune, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that uh, ace up your sleeve. And then, check out the stagecoach, because I almost forgot to do this. Uh, there's another crusader, there's a hound master. We do want to have one. So let us upgrade our roster one more time. And like usual, I will just trade away whatever I need for this. We need 16 deeds, okay? So we're gonna need to trade away at least seven. 
We can get the barrack size, then we can get the Houndmaster. We can even get a secondary Crusader and a secondary Abomination if we want. I don't really want another Grave Robber. We got too many of them. Gambler. We'll only gamble. Oh yeah, hell no. Then, we'll think about the new mission, the next mission. The four main areas have now been completely unlocked. We can go in for 7% crit dice for the Jester. It's actually really nice. The Leper Amulet of Accuracy and Crit. That's kind of nice because the uh, accuracy on the Leper does suck. Healing skills for the Arbalist or max HP for the Hellion, but minus stun resistances. Kind of thinking Crit Dice for the Jester would be kind of nice, but maybe, uh, maybe the Leper Armlet would be kind of nice because the accuracy on the Leper kind of blows and we can always reduce his own stress. So let's plan to go to the Held, the Held, the Weld, for the next run, for the next mission. But for now, let me just say thank you all very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. For those of you on YouTube, anyways, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch if you want to go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of The Darkest Dungeon.